Hello guys, welcome to your tarot card reading. My name is Isabel from the tarotempress.com. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Today I'm going to be discussing the new moon in Virgo. I'm going to be looking at four components in this tarot card reading. The first one is what positive energies are coming towards you? What are the opportunities? What are the blessings? And what obstacles will be eliminated as a result of this new moon in Virgo? So let's begin your tarot card reading. What are the positive energies entering into your life as a result of the new moon in Virgo? So what I'm sensing here from these particular set of cards is an indication that for some of you, you're going to be dealing with a group of individuals. You could be working together on certain projects and certain goals. So there's going to be this element of teamwork that is coming through. I'm picking up an energy of a lot of support that is going to be surrounding you. I'm also picking up an energy of a lot of individuals collaborating. So I feel like you may be working in a certain environment where each person is going to be contributing their skills as well as their expertise in order for everything to work and to come together. Now, another energy that I'm getting here from this particular card is that there is going to be a lot of recognition and appreciation for your dedication towards whatever it is that you're doing. I feel like a lot of individuals are going to be appreciating uh, your input and they're going to be valuing your opinion. Some of you may gain recognition, you may gain rewards, there could be some major advancements in your career, perhaps even in your personal life, right? The next energy that I'm picking up from this particular card is an indication here that you're going to take a lot of pride in the things you do. Uh, there's going to be commitment on your part and you're going to be committed towards excellence. And I feel like Spirit is indicating that this, you know, commitment to excellence, it is going to pay off. Some of you are going to be very detail orientated during this period of time, right? Now, the next card that I have is indicating to me that many people are going to start to see you as a very strong type of individual. They're going to see you as a type of person that takes charge of certain circumstances or perhaps situations and you do so with confidence you do so with authority so i feel like uh, this particular card has a lot of positive uh, energies connected to it in particular you may be in a position where you will be leading and making some powerful and important decisions so you could be the head of the household you could be the head of the um, you know business it could be that you are in a position of power if not, you could be moving in that sort of role very soon. So do keep that in mind. And this is all coming back to that attention to detail. It's coming down to how well you work in a team and how considerate you are of other people's needs. That's really going to allow for you to step into that leadership position. The next card that I see here is indicating to me that you're going to have a curiosity. There's going to be an element of being very open-minded during this period of time. I feel like Spirit is also bringing through another message and Spirit is emphasizing the need for self-discipline, the need for self-control in order to achieve your goals, right? It feels like there's an energy of empowerment that is surrounding you during these particular uh, days, right? And this is going to power you up for the next weeks ahead. Now, what I also sense here is that this is a very powerful time for communication. Some of you are going to be able to express yourself very well. In fact, you're going to be able to express yourself with a great deal of clarity and precision. I feel like Spirit is indicating that you will have a lot of interactions with other individuals. They are going to be of a positive note. Now, with this card, there's also an energy that is indicating the need for you to be alert and to be prepared for any potential challenges that may show up. I feel like Spirit is indicating that you are going to have the foresight of um, you know, future 
predictions. It feels like there's an energy which is indicating you're going to be very agile in terms of your mental faculties. So that's coming through very, you know, profoundly because spirit is indicating that for a lot of you as a result of this new moon in Virgo, you're going to be very quick thinking and that is a facet that is going to serve you very well. So let's have a look and see what are the opportunities that are heading in your direction. like to learn how to read tarot you can check out the courses and books on the tarotempress.com there is also free tarot card meetings so that you can discern uh, what's going on in certain instances so let's see in terms of opportunities i feel like spirit is indicating that for a lot of you you're wanting financial security and stability at this period of time and i feel like there is an indication that you're going to have a chance to manage your resources, you know, more prudently during this period. So in other words, you're going to achieve a greater sense of control, especially financially. For some of you, there may be some opportunities to make some, um, you know, wise investments during this period. I feel like Spirit is indicating that there's a need for you to be open to financial advice or opportunities for growth. So perhaps turn to people that you respect in the financial fields, you know, uh, do your research, gain perspectives from certain uh, financial websites on the internet in order to make better investments during this period, right? Now, the next car that I see here is indicating that you know, you're going to have an amazing opportunity to gain a powerful perspective, right? This is a period in which you can reflect a lot. It's also a period in which you may be able to see situations from a completely different sort of perspective. I feel like Spirit is indicating, yeah, that if you're looking for enlightenment and personal growth, perhaps you need to start seeing things from a different point of view. Spirit is indicating to me that for some of you, there may be an opportunity to perhaps let go of things that are no longer serving you, right? So there may be certain individuals or circumstances in your life that you may have to steer clear of. There may be certain people that you've outgrown, certain situations as well. And this could go in any shape and form. Sometimes you may have uh, certain material things that you need to let go of it's no longer serving a purpose maybe you can give it away to someone that needs it more than you do so there's this energy of cleaning up and uh, releasing things that no longer have a viable purpose in your world and the reason for this is because you want to surrender to the flow of life uh, because there's a lot of unexpected good things that can come as a result of letting go of things that you know no longer provide you with a sense of joy now the next card that I have for you guys is indicating to me that for some of you, you may have to stand up for yourself, right? And you may have to take a certain position, whether it is in your workplace or in your family, perhaps it's in a relationship situation, you need to defend yourself, you need to assert yourself, you need to protect what you value, right? The reason why Spirit is indicating that is that sometimes we have individuals that surround us and they either want the very best for us or they don't. And you have to be able to identify who has your best interests at heart. Because if a person has even 97% uh, your best interests at heart, that 3% of them not having your best interests at heart can be very um, you know, detrimental. So being able to identify other people's insecurities, fears, and things like that will show up in their insults or perhaps their cruelty towards you. It may be passive aggressive, it may be very direct, but however, I feel like Spirit is emphasizing the need to identify who truly cares for you from a place of complete love and who only cares for you perhaps 97%. So I feel like, you know, sometimes you can have an individual that does care for you entirely, and then sometimes you won't. So you have to be discerning about who you uh, let into your world, right? Now, 
I feel like if you're dealing with any sort of obstacles, I feel like Spirit is indicating that you're going to have an opportunity to prove yourself. You're going to have an opportunity to show uh, that you're different in some shape or form. And people are going to start to recognize that. So, you know, being very individualistic and standing up for the strengths that you bring to a situation and the gifts that you bring into this world, it's going to be highly advantageous to you. So make sure you pay attention to that. Don't shy away from who you really are during this period of time. Now, let's look at the blessings. terms of blessings some of you are going to be welcoming in material wealth and abundance there's this element of financial security that's coming through from this particular card I feel like for those of you that are open to long-term planning and you know wise investments this could be a very good time for you to do that I feel like spirit is indicating the need for you to focus on long-term goals versus short-term goals there could be significant blessings coming in from uh, your family. Perhaps you may receive an inheritance. For others, there could be some sort of celebrations within the family. You could be uh, going back together to visit your loved ones and uh, celebrating uh, with them, you know, sharing in the traditions of your culture, whatever it is that you share with your family. So I feel like during this period of time, some of you may meet up with significant others and people that you care about, and this could be a wonderful time to welcome more harmony into that aspect of your world. Now, the next card that I have is indicating there is going to be this element of blessings coming through, and it's going to come through in certain shapes and forms. Perhaps you are going on a certain journey or you are, um, you know, meeting up with some random individuals. I feel like along the journey, there's going to be instances of hope and inspiration, creativity that is going to pop out to you. Maybe you may want to acknowledge this, take pictures of it, uh, write it down in your journal. But I feel like, you know, you're going to have this highly optimistic perspective on the future. And you're going to be very connected to your aspirations. This is a wonderful time for you to truly, um, you know, open up that door towards emotional and spiritual healing. So for a lot of you, you're going to have an opportunity to let go of the past wounds, to heal profoundly, and to have that real sense of renewal in your world. And I feel like you should open yourself up to that because it's going to be a beautiful sort of cleansing of the energies. Now, the next card that I have is indicating some type of major transformation that's going to occur in your world. This could be due to the end of one phase of life and the beginning of another. This kind of transformation spirit is saying could be personal, could be external. The purpose of this transformation is that it's leading you towards positive change. It's leading you towards growth. Some of you may let go of old habits. You may let go of beliefs. You may let go of situations that no longer serve you. So this is coming through again, right? I feel like spirit is indicating here yeah, that there's going to be the emergence of something new in your world. You have to be open to embracing that. There's a beautiful energy here that is coming through and it's really opening up that door to powerful transformations in your world. So what obstacles are going to be eliminated? Let's find out. In terms of obstacles, there's an energy that is connecting to you gaining emotional control. There's an energy that is connected to, you know, you being able to handle yourself better in certain circumstances. Your emotions are not going to control you. You're going to be in control of your emotions. There's going to be a lot of balance and compassion inside of you. Spirit is also indicating to me that for some of you, you may be placed in certain challenging circumstances. However, you know, this new moon in Virgo is going to allow for you to act and react in a calm and composed manner. So I feel like for some of you, you're gaining that added advantage. And that's going to come through in the form of emotional intelligence, right? 
Now the next energy that I have is indicating that there is going to be some type of elimination of an obstacle that is going to uh, result in you studying wisdom or studying uh, gaining knowledge uh, from certain sort of um, you know mediums it could be through religion it could be through uh, spirituality you could be learning new kind of things so I feel like you're opening up the doorway to those possibilities and I feel like it's going to enable you to find solutions to certain difficulties that you may have been dealing with so this is a very powerful time uh, for many of you because I feel like you're going to have emotional stability you're also going to gain a lot of wisdom and it doesn't have to only come through uh, from religion it can come through from any other factors maybe you meditate maybe you are connected to your spirituality you listen to your spirit guides you get certain dreams there's going to be some wisdom that you're going to gain and i feel like that's going to be a very powerful thing maybe before you were shut off from that and i feel like you're reconnecting to that element uh, during this period of time as a result of the new moon in virgo so the next energy that I'm seeing here is that a lot of you are going to be feeling very empathetic. You're going to be feeling as if, you know, you can tackle your challenges, you can resolve your challenges. And I feel like you're going to be approaching life with a very loving heart. And that could be fundamental to you overcoming the obstacles that you're facing during this period of time. So a very powerful reading in terms of the energies that the new moon in Virgo is bringing through for you guys. If you'd like a personal reading, you can get it at the tarotempress.com. Make sure to check out the community page for any new and exclusive readings that will be uploaded on other platforms. Have a wonderful day and take care.